Good day fellas, I have extremely exciting video for you today. We have a brand new tank, probably everyone will go. Yeah, 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 loot boxes, loot boxes. Excuse me, not boxes, keys, keys, loot keys, loot keys, loot keys. Well, let's see what you are gambling for, right? So looking into all of this, we have a Chieftain tier 9 uh, um, heavy tank. I think it is as close to the Chieftain as you can get via the name. I, at least I want to believe that. The tank has only name. You know, uh, yeah, that's what I think. Okay, this is my prediction. Let's look into the things uh, a bit here. So if you would pay attention, uh, let's see the armor of this vehicle. Frontally, on the flat ground. Auto aim will be able to penetrate this tank like there is no tomorrow. Even the um, tier 5 will penetrate the lower plate, and lower plate is humongous. Okay, how about the turret armor? Well, 40 millimeters thickness over there. What that means when you are meeting the um, ta tanks which has the caliber bigger than. Uh, um, then 120 millimeters, so one to two plus, well, they can penetrate you into the roof, right? And if they are above you, it's no bueno. Okay, how about side scrapping? <laughs> uh, how about uh, peeking frontally? <sighs> This, this tank has no armor whatsoever, okay? Before this, I really want to highlight this situation. The tank has no armor. This is very, very important thing to uh, mention and to highlight. Now, when we have this out of the way, let's go for a game and let's see how this vehicle behaves. I hope hun gun handling is at least good, right? Let's go. Okay, guys, the first game which we have is Ensk Encounter game. I don't really think we have many hold-down positions, but uh, let's try to figure out how this tank is behaving. Wow, Turret Traverse is also quite slow. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, let's see. Uh, 400 alpha damage, close to 120 millimeters gun. Uh, 262 millimeters of penetration with the standards. That is good. APCR as a standard. That is actually pretty damn fine. Um, I like how it looks like. Now how the gold is looking like. 310 millimeters of penetration, 1350. Yeah, that is actually pretty strong. That is pretty strong, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to get too involved here. I am just chilling and I am just relaxing at this point. Meanwhile, me. Uh, he had a blast, fellas. He had a blast. He enjoyed himself and he was calling him, himself a Formula ELC. And unlucky. Okay, I can tell you one thing. I don't really like how this, uh, how fast the turret is on this vehicle. But maybe I am just making this shit up. Maybe it's not that slow. Uh, I am thinking about the situation when someone is peeking from the side, you know, whenever you need to peek. Um, that, uh, that was my main concern in a way. I do not want to get too involved here. The main reason why I do not want to get too involved here because we know Object Standard B, E75, Skoda and many many others are playing here. I truly think it is not worth it to be aggressive and in fact I think it's not worth it to that level I'm going to F off from here. I might take one from the T30 while crossing but it's must do. It is very, very important. Let's try to spank him if we will react properly. Okay, he's not sitting over there. Speed-wise, it's not looking that bad. Speed-wise, you are going up to 40 kilometers per hour relatively quickly. So this is a good stuff. Meanwhile, Škoda is thinking about going for us, is he? Nah, he is, he is like a tourist. He is traveling a bit. Okay, look. At this point, all we can do, we need to be aggressive. Why so? Because enemies do not have too many forces here and we can simply spank them like there is no tomorrow. What we are going to do with this beautiful gentleman, we are going to try to face hug him. If, if we can do so, right? He is trying to figure out how to penetrate us. Luckily for us, he failed. He have a lovely one. And he is on fire. Beautiful. Škoda! Are you on the reloader? You still are holding one. Reloader, holding one. Reloader, holding one. Reloader. 
reload or holding one. Nice try. Nice try. I've seen this before. Oh, come on. Don't do that to me. Did I deserve to get armor act like this? Not nice. Okay, so the first game ends. Unfortunately, we did not manage to figure out too much about this tank. If I could turn back the time, what I would do, I would try to play probably in this area instead of um, going into the city. I noticed we have not many um, people into the city and we witnessed the 257 getting gangbanged. That's all we have done in this game, right? Um, all in all, our team was stronger and that's what we have. So far, um, so far, not many good things I could say about this vehicle. But once again, this is the first impressions that things can definitely uh, change quite a bit. The things can change quite a bit, fellas. Let's take our time to aim. Aim time is also looking quite long. Like how it looks like, it looks like the tank has uh, uh, quite a bit bloom. Uh, and yeah, I'm not impressed, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I am not too impressed. You know what is the best thing of all this? <laughs> you know what is the best thing of all of this? I would say uh, this tank is a premium tank, right? I would say this is the best situation of this vehicle so far. Uh, yeah, first game wasn't the finest. Okay, let's see how many credits we are going to make with this tank. This is the question. How much of the credits we can make in the game? Uh, and I know for a fact this tank is making bonds, right? So each week you can get 100 uh, bonds. But, you know, I am thinking about the price of this tank and I don't see how I would um, ever uh, um, pay that much for this vehicle. Anyways, 3.2 thousand damage, 500 assisting damage, not that bad, first by experience, first by the damage. And we have made, um, we have made, fellas, 75,000 profits, right? But we need to keep in mind, we did not pay for extra rations. We did not pay for, uh, um, for um, resupplying anything, right? Because I have them in stock. So in reality, if we are counting everything down like extra ration and both of those, uh, this would be instead of 75,000, it would be 45,000 if you are buying them on the discount, right? Okay, okay, okay. That is the first game. Let's go for a second one. Okay, fellas, round number two, Shit River, Standard Battle, uh, Tier 8 Matchmaking, good. Um, okay, how we can do this? I would say the first things first, I want to go somewhere here, right? I want to play hold down. The worst part of all this is Arta. This is definitely annoying, but we will try to make it work nevertheless. <laughs> he really hates ELC. You can, you can see that in his eyes he was trying to check out how accurate his gun handling is, if you know what I mean. You missed, buddy. You missed. You need to aim more. Okay. Now, what is happening in my head? If I need to compare this vehicle against a Starvaki, which tank is better, right? Which tank is better? This one or a Starvaki? And I think the gun on this tank is going to be better. Mm, accurate. Accurate, fellas. Very, very accurate. And the DPM is not looking horrible. Obviously, it's not great DPM, don't get me wrong. It's not uh, the Super Conqueror level or something. But the gun is not looking like it is a pile of kaku, is it? No, Starvaki. I hit those. I mean, I did not penetrate him, don't get me wrong, but still, that is a direct hit, which is which is quite impressive. The shell velocity is nice of this vehicle, fellas. The shell The shell velocity is quite nice. I like it. Once again, keep this in mind, I'm shooting only standard ammunition, not gold. 
Um, I think for for the sports interest, we could try to go with a full gold as well. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Skilled, don't you dare. Skilled, don't you. Stop me if you can, Goldon. <clears throat> okay, let's see how this vehicle is going to behave with a gold ammunition. Zdorov. This guy is doomed. He cannot do absolutely anything about this. Arta incoming doesn't really change absolutely anything. This guy is doomed. He can go straight to the garage. And now we are going to make this guy to enjoy himself to the maximum. He is having literally a blast. How are you doing? Right into your weak shoulder. And he's, ay, 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 I can't lift anything. Oh, nobody. You cannot lift anything. You cannot lift anything. Ooh. Fireworks! Nice. Mm -hmm. Now there is one thing which I am a bit afraid of. This Arta. I am afraid this Arta is going to be the living crap out of me. Do I think you need turbo on this vehicle? I don't really think you need that. Uh, well, maybe it's only me anti-turbo boy, right? But I don't think the turbo is necessity of this vehicle. I just don't feel like... Yep, without turbo this tank is caco. I don't feel like it. Okay, let's see what we can do for this gentleman. Hi. Beautiful. The gun doesn't look bad. At least for from the first couple of games. Don't get me wrong, it's not ideal. The DPM is not the finest. The tank is not the best tank in the world of tanks, right? But it doesn't look like it is a horrible, unplayable pile of caco, right? You get the point what I'm saying. Okay, will our guy be able to deal with this double penetrator? Question mark, question mark, question mark. No? Good, I will. Thank you very much. Okay, Mr. Kunze Panzer. How are you doing today? Okay, we can make pressure. Yeah, I, I can imagine some people will uh, will play with this vehicle with uh, turbo, rammer and hardering. I can I can imagine some people doing that. Although without stabilizer, I'm not entirely sure how the gun would behave, you know? Because even now the bloom is looking quite big and I'm using stabilizer. So how it would look like without one, that is the question. Three, two, one, boom. Now, one more thing which I forgot to mention, this tank has huge high explosive penetration. Skill, can you please tell me what the high explosive penetration means? Well, that means you can bully tanks like uh, Kunze Panzer, like Su-130 and so on. You don't know what I mean by saying this? Look at this. It's okay, that was no aim shot. I was trying to do my best, but hashtag never lucky. Come here, you beautiful mother trucker. I have a gift for you. It's called 120 hash round. 400 only? How low can you roll? <laughs> 515 alpha damage and I roll at him for... Uh, and I roll at him for 400 something progetto. I see you are trying to secure your damage. Don't do that to me. My father is working in Wargaming. Watch out, buddy. Okay. Second game was pretty good. Although, once again, I did not fully check out how the vehicle is looking like overall. There is still quite some things to check, I would say. Yeah, bad aim by me. Can't complain. Um, there is still quite some things to check. For example, how the tank is performing cooldown uh, um, in, let's say, best field or something, right? Only one thing what I do not really like about this vehicle is how... Uh, is how it is turning. I th I feel like the the turret turning speed feels just too slow for me. Uh, maybe because I played recently on my XM4 a lot. Maybe that's why. But it feels kind of uh, sluggish. Okay. <clears throat> now predictions. I would say speaking about the raw profit, this is going to be like one hundred twenty thousand with a five thousand damage game. 
Although we fired quite a bit of the gold round, so maybe it's not going to be the case. No, it is pretty much overall income, right? So 125,000 overall income with a game of 5,000 damage and 300 assisting damage. We are top by experience, we are top by the damage, we hit most of our shots, which is quite nice, and we made 82,000 profits, not including um, most of the extra rations, right? Once again, tier 9s are not credit makers. Yeah, they can make a bit of the credits. Yes, they can have a bit of the, um, a bit of the bond income, but it is nothing special. It is just nothing special. I want to I want to be honest with you fellas. It's just it's just for this game to get some to get 82,000 credits with a tier 9 it's just it's just not great. Anyways, um I think we can go for one more for um good measure and you know what? Let's replace the stabilizer uh, for a shits and giggles. Let's replace stabilizer for improved aiming unit and let's see will we spot any difference whatsoever of this, right? A uh, simple test to see is it going to work uh, um better or it's not going to work better. By the way, I am playing with a standard equipment or although I have unlimited limited crew, right? This is this is pretty much the difference. Now Bloom should be as big as uh, um, as I shouldn't say that. Anyways, let's go. Okay, we are back. So look, now the question is how this vehicle will behave with a setup like this and can we spot the difference uh, speaking about the Bloom? Can we spot the difference be, uh, in with the Bloom, right? Um, we played a bit with a stabilizer and it was looking quite a big speaking about the blooming experience. Now let's see what this can what this setup can do and how much of the shots we can hit. Because I want to believe Oh yeah! <laughs> Woo! Where is the sun? Almost as big as the sun is, fellas. Okay, let's see how long is it going to take for us to aim and can we snapshot whatsoever with this? This is the question now. Okay. I know I could play a bit more aggressively here. I am very, very well aware of that. Okay, Cupola shot. Uh, almost, almost hit him. Almost. I think in the other map he might have a friend. I think we damaged his friend. <laughs> okay, let's beat the living crap out of the Viper, I guess. Although, we can penetrate Viper only in the lower plate, I assume. It's fine, fellas. We have all time in the world of tanks. I was just... Checking can I get some use from the previous position and as you can see there is not too much use if any we can get from this Yeah, I can tell you this setup. It doesn't look good on this tank uh, The bloom is way 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 too big and it will take forever and ever until you will uh, um, Aim properly if that makes sense It will take forever and ever until you will aim Okay, mister, how are you doing? Ooh, Progetto, don't you dare to do this to me. Progetto, that's mean. Okay, good. Viper, I will wipe your butt. Snipe. I told you. I told him, fellas, do not tell me I did not warn this guy for what will happen for him. Yes, I'm shooting gold, by the way. I'm very, very well aware of that. Oh, this Progetto is so annoying. This Progetto is so annoying, fellas. Okay, I need to load the gold ammunition here against the Type 4 Heavy. How are you doing? Ooh. Hi there. Don't be mean to me. Thank you. Okay. What is the plan for us. You see, both of the projectors are sitting here on the corner. That's fine. Now the question is whenever they are going to get uh, um, impatient. Whenever they will get impatient, we are going to say hello for them. That's what we are going to do. Okay, both of those sweet uh, sweet mother truckers sitting in the open field. You still can hit. You still can hit with this. 
I am surprised how good gun handling is looking like on this vehicle. Maybe someone will play with this tank like a sniper schnitzel, you never know. You will find the casual chieftain sniping from the back. Which we cannot say about the original one, if you know what I mean. I I don't really think I care about um, too many things in this situation, fellas. We are just chilling. We are just relaxing and we are waiting until enemies will mess up. And mess up they will. I don't want to get involved like this, I don't want to get involved like this, uh, I just uh, want to wait until this Progetto will uh, try to check out who is living on the corner here, because he might do that since he have uh, quite a bit of the support over there. If he's over peeking, we are shining him like there is no tomorrow. Um, this is what I am thinking at this point. He has 430 sniping um, for, for the gentleman uh, sitting here. I am very, very well aware of that. But what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? What I could do, I could go uh, to this area there, but I think it is going to be completely unnecessary. You son of the banana, I will find you and I will send you to the loom bridge. Yes, this is a reference from, um, from Rune Escape. Hi. Step by step, little by little. Is he going to be angry on me? Is he going to be angry on me? This is the question. I see the situation, fellas. I'm very, very well aware of uh, uh, that we are getting slaughtered like there is no tomorrow. I know. What do you want me to do? I am very, very well aware of that. Okay. Now, let's pick the situation. Um... Up, 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 up. <laughs> Toro! Toro! Oh, that was fun. Okay, look. Um, I don't know how I could play in this game differently. Um, honestly speaking, enemies had a great team. They secured the corners, they secured the city. What can you do about that? And that Progetto was annoying SF from the corner. But what can I say? He did a good job and he was a pain in the ass for our team. Uh, that poor T28. I mean, I saw the anger in his eyes. I saw he wanted to spank us like there is no tomorrow and he finished the game. Um, while uh, being tricked. Anyways, looking into this game, 3.3 thousand damage, uh, that's completely, oh yoy, uh, that's completely fine. Considering what kind of team we had, I, I will take that with a big smile on my face. We are top by the damage, we are top by experience, we did quite a bit of good things. And looks like this uh, Progetto did damage only to me. No nice, thank you. Reported for focusing the content creator, disgusting. Um, and we made 14,000 profits. <laughs> 14,000 profits. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's not a credit maker, okay? It is not a credit maker. Look at me. Uh, look at me however you want. There is no way I will make credits with this vehicle than any tier 8. Give me ball breaker. I will make more credits than with this vehicle. So, yeah. Okay. All and all, speaking about this tank, first impressions. Um, the armor, if you are playing hold down, doesn't look that bad whatsoever. It is looking okay. Uh, the armor on the flat um, ground, it is paper. Everyone will penetrate you in the face. Um, I did not hit by the. I did not get hit by the art that much. So hard to say how art, how this tank is reacting into the art. But I guess art is heavily uh, punishing this vehicle, right? Um. I believe the tank highlight itself is the gun. I think gun is the highlight of this tank and uh, um, you can you can play a bit safer. Maybe because of the lack of armor you can uh, you can play oh, with this tank as a medium yeah. as well, right? Mother trucker. Woo! I I almost uh, shit my pants. Thank you very much for 16 months, buddy. Woo. I'm not I'm not streaming by the way. It happens sometimes when I'm doing recording. So 
Chieftain in action it is. Uh, after three games, we did 3.9 thousand damage and 300 assisting damage. But I think I was a bit lucky with the matchmaking and with the situation. I think, uh, um, I think, uh, but this tank is not as good as I presented it. Or I meant to say, buy this tank now. Obviously, I'm joking, and I believe you get the point what I am saying. So thank you very much for watching, fellas. Thank you very much for your time for your support, for being together with us, for literally everything, for visiting the index page, for buying bananas there, for being patrons or buying the um, VIP status in the, in the YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate you and I hope I am worth it. Thank you, fellas. Uh, that was your daily dose of skill and that was the very first impression of the Chieftain P. See you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.